Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. This will span from September 15th through the 22nd, okay? Um, thank you for being here. I have shuffled and prayed over the cards off camera and I have uh, pulled the cards for the sake of time, okay? So, this is how Aquarius comes into the week. So Aquarius, how you're coming into the week is a four of fire. Okay. So um, you may feel like something is successful. There's a firm foundation in regards to a project, something you were working on, a relationship. Success, uh, peace also, maybe a coming together. Uh, in some regard could be about home family once again foundation and roots um, this is the doing and now you it you finally laid the foundation for uh, so this is good um, it's stable what is in your environment or who Wow, the four of earth. So you could be holding on to to your money or releasing some money. Um, or you could uh, just making really good decisions, especially surrounding business. Um, this could also be you giving money. This could be also a large sum of money coming to, uh, to you. Uh, or you having a certain level of status and... and a status change maybe in regards to a relationship um to home so you could be changing home and the uh, who is helping you or what's helping you is the six of earth wow Aquarius um so this could be gifts of money or, or paying off debts or really making those long-term uh, foundational um, changes this is six and four yeah ten of earth like some long-term goals being fulfilled here or in the works of um fulfillment also uh it could be something in regards to career you making a choice in regards to career uh, making a choice of career path maybe you were giving to two separate uh, ways of making money of income and now you're making the choice over love and career or what you love to do in career uh, this is really good you coming this week is really foundational for you money and then at the end of the week in, these two cards flipped out and they flipped out up upright and face up I was going to put them back into the deck but I felt like they needed to be out so we have the dreamer which is the fool card taking a leap of faith at the end of the week um once again unexpected opportunities going a new path a new direction starting over for some of you at zero and the ace of water for some of you this is a new home you're moving new home um this is also uh this could be either falling in love or this is, you know, the resurgence of love. Something's coming back. Also, spiritual growth. Feeling like you're at the place, at the right place at the right time. Feeling like you're full of spirit. Uh, emotional stability in a new direction, a new beginning. Aquarius, the week looks fabulous. I mean the money is good new love let's let's drill down on this what is the dreamer and the ace of water for some of you with these two fours here and then the ace of water this is going to be a new home new residence um some of you could be yeah moving taking a trip let's see wow the ten of pentacles something some long-term goal fulfilled here fulfillment of 
maybe there might be help uh, in regards to some masculine energy also you your reputation is is being magnified um, something is coming to the culmination the, the the fullness of five of cups but there still might be hesitation We got the full card and the ace of water. You may not want to take the leap of faith with someone or there's hesitation in doing so. Maybe with the Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, anyone. Could be Aries, could be you, Aquarius. Maybe because there is there's some third party situation. There's someone who could be already in a marriage or a long standing commitment. Yeah. Um you're needing to stay true to your convictions what it, what did you start or state for yourself in regards to relationships love and relationships could be dealing with the leo it says if you stay true to your convictions i'm convicted to i am not doing i will not have i will not go um this is what i want this is what i deserve what statements like that your convictions then you'll you'll if you stay true to your convictions you know that it'll land you on the right path to getting what it is you want king of cups yeah in regards to maybe some cancer pisces scorpio we've got uh, Pisces and Scorpio magnified. I pull one more card and then we're going to see what this is about. Yeah. Over the other side, Queen of Swords. So it's more so the Aquarius saying, okay, I don't. Wow. Um, <laughs> okay. All right. I wasn't going to show this card. Picked up the deck am going to pull an angel answers card for you guys but as i picked up the deck this was already at the bottom romance so this may be in regards to you feeling like this is a leap of faith in regards to allowing yourself to fall in some particular aspect of love <laughs> with someone who is already committed or who has made commitment elsewhere also something about not wanting to have sex with this person they're not being opportunity or room for a level of intimacy being established between the two of you because there is uh this person is married or partnered or occupied emotionally unavailable uh the aquarius yields his or her sword in regards to this person because um some of you feel like it will be foolish these two cards popped out Let's see this is about um it will be foolish to take the leap of faith but this is how you're ending the week money career home business looks great wow peaceful resolution and no need to worry so it looks like aquarius has a bit of with the queen of swords here the aquarius is trying is looking at life experience taking their own advice listening to the advice of others but still making their own judgment call in regards to this particular person place or thing um the aquarius is also exacting some truth from this person but it says there's no need to worry and there will be a peaceful resolution we're going to see what this resolution is is it resolving the relationship in in, to, in totality or is it moving to the next step what is it and why is there no need for the aquarius to worry this week i know in, in terms of money 
and finance and career and having done the work, there is no need to worry. But in regards to this person, um, why is there no need to worry? Okay, Aquarius, I hope that you have a fabulous week. It looks very promising, even with love and relationship. Um, wow, 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 wow. Okay, uh, yeah, meet me on the other side. I just looked at the bottom deck, the bottom of this deck in the card there so that's pretty significant um keep in mind always uh to get the extended read is only two dollars 25 cents usd uh if you feel like the reading is resonating with you thus far we're also going to pull a few cards in regards to some of the earth energy um and, and the four for a fire some of you are concerned about home roots and relationship some of you are concerned about a, a particular relationship. Uh, what are you building here? What can you get from it? All right. Thank you, Aquarius. The link is below. Take care.